Thank you, Scott. Um, uh, my name is Jason Ritter, and um, like he said, <laughs> and uh, I am so happy that you're here with us for the sixth annual first virtual Freeze HD event. Um, it really means a lot to me that you're here, and um, and I'm it, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you why it means <laughs> so much to me. Um, Freeze HD is something that's really close to my uh, heart. Um, it came out of this sort of feeling of frustration and helplessness uh, that came about 2000, mid 2014, um, where we were sort of faced with um, this new knowledge that um, we were gonna be fighting Huntington's disease head on. And um, we wanted to do everything we possibly could to um, help the community and to, to fight this, this thing that at this point still doesn't have a, a cure. Um, and instead of waiting around, uh, we decided my, my sister-in-law and my brother and my sister and my mom and um, a whole group of us, we just enlisted as many people as we possibly could. And we put on this event and it, it was amazing. People showed up, people came, people donated, people learned about Huntington's disease. And we decided to, uh, to make it a, a yearly thing to raise money for HDSA and, um, and to raise awareness about the uh, about Huntington's disease, Huntington's disease, I can say it, uh, which is which is why we made this part of the, the the night free. We're just happy that you're here. That's a huge part of the battle, you know, because Huntington's disease is a genetic disease. It can really um, just run through a family and be so painful and devastating. But general the general public doesn't hear about it because it doesn't just sort of randomly. Uh, choose families, you know, it, it, or choose people out of nowhere. It, it's um, if if your parent has it, you have a fifty percent chance of inheriting it, and um, so the community stays small. And one of the biggest things that we can do to combat it is is create a larger community around it. And now you're a part of it. Now you know about it, and um, and I I am so grateful that you're. You're here. Um, I met Mariana when I was 19, uh, and um, she told me about Huntington's disease. It was the first time I really had heard about it, and she told me about her father who had it. And um, actually, you know, at the time, um, she had been encouraging me to to sort of get all the things off my chest that I wanted to get off my chest with, with my own father. And one of the reasons that she was so determined to make me do that is because he was alive and well, and I, I was able to have those conversations. And she, at that point, was not able to have those kinds of conversations with her father. And even though it was sort of uncomfortable for me, and I, I, I really did that. And I created the relationship that we, I wanted. And we, you know, I thought I had a lot of time and it turns out I didn't. And I'm forever indebted to her for that and it's part of what uh what what this all means to me it's part of why this is my this is my purpose in life is to rid the world of this disease make it something that people read about in the history books and say oh that sounds horrible and not have anybody uh go through it again or watch a family member go through it ever again. So thank you for being here. Just a little reminder that the auction uh, ends at eight o'clock, which is, oh my goodness, that's very soon. Um, I mean, you have some time, but uh, you know, get on it. Uh, someone could steal the thing that you bid on five days ago. Uh, so check that, make sure that you're still good. Um, look at all the other amazing things that are there. And then if you want to join us for the, the VIP after party, uh, there's a ticket link for that as well. I'll be there, uh, hanging out. Um, and yeah, there's fun stuff at the, at the auction. There's a zoom call with me. Talk for 15 minutes, hang out, tell me about your life. I'll, I'll tell you more weird stories. Um, and thank you so much again for being here. Uh, thank you everyone who covered it. Thank you for retweeting anything. There's nothing too small that you can do to help spread awareness for this disease. So uh, thank you so much for being here. It really means uh, everything to me. My dad has been with me since the day he died. And his love actually touches my friend group. It touches all the work that we're doing right now. I think that 
we have been able to make our lives so beautiful because my dad loved me so much and he loved my mom so much and he was really the last person in the family. He wanted to be the last person in the family and the last generation to really uh, have to die from this. And we really want that to be the truth. We want to save the people who are in a situation right now where literally our dollars save lives. So whatever you can give, however you can help, we appreciate it. Come and be part of everything that HDSA is doing. We absolutely have been in this together as a family, basically. Anyone who has HD in their family, anyone who has a friend with HD in their family, we're all one family. We all understand each other. And it's um, really, really important that we focus our energies and we um, remember that we're not alone, especially right now when it feels like the world is falling apart. Um, there's so much to be said for living in the name of someone, like living in the name of Jason's dad, who told me over and over again I was going to change the world. It's like he knew somehow that we were all going to change the world, and we have changed the world. So when you can believe in a young person like that, the way that John Ritter believed in me, the way that my dad believed in Jason from afar um, in his mental illness, uh, you know, you have the capacity to be um, really like the best version of the person you were meant to be on this planet. And I think it makes you feel better. And I think that when you share pain, it actually heals other people's pain. And that's something that is so universally powerful that um, is, is why I love this charity so much. And I think um, we're so close um, to this, to, to the end of this and to this sort of precipice of, of this disease being something that was in the, the history books. That's what I want. I don't want the other kids that I know and I don't want the younger kids and the babies and the future babies to have to deal with this. Like my dad took a bullet for us and all these other people took bullets for us and I want that to be the end of it. You know, like it ends here and it ends now and we need you guys, we need you guys to be with us in this beautiful era. And I have to thank everyone who volunteers for this and everyone who, um, you know, puts their life on the line every day to help other people in general. I think we're learning so much about what it means to be a better human being by being able to look at ourselves and um, help each other and stand up for each other and be there for each other. And so I just love you guys so much and I want everyone to celebrate the fact that um, that death is an end, you know what I mean? But it's not the end of a person. And someone's legacy, like my dad's legacy and Jason's dad's legacy can really go on in terms of what they did and what they continue to do philanthropically, how we continue to honor them, this idea of an amazing father um, and how they were that for us. Um, it's just so beautiful. And that's the kind of stuff that heals the world. <laughs> and cures diseases and that's what we need. So um, I thank all my friends who are here tonight with us watching and my family abroad because everyone in Scotland is watching this even though it's like five in the morning for them. And um, I just have to say from the bottom of my heart that we couldn't do it without you. I love you guys. <laughs> Mariana, I love you. We are a family and I support HDSA. Please donate and share and talk about Huntington's disease. Hi, I'm Brittany Young from Netflix's Glow, where I have the amazing privilege of starring alongside the goddess that is Mariana Palka. I just wanted to say to Mariana and everybody else at the HDSA, congratulations on the sixth annual HD Freeze event. I'm so glad that we were able to make it work this year. This is an event that cannot be missed. You guys are doing such great work for patients and families who are affected by Huntington's disease. Thank you so much for being able to do this again. And to Mariana, you are the epitome of what a human should be. You are kind, you are selfless, you are giving, you are caring, you are someone who wants to get everyone involved, and you are someone who asks, what can I do for you? And that is something that should not be taken for granted. 
as you should not be taken for granted. Um, Mariana introduced me to the HDSA uh, four years ago, five years ago, four years ago now, um, when she gave me a link to watch her documentary, The Lion's Mouth Open. And I just texted her the weirdest, longest text message afterwards because I truly was moved by everything that her and her family have gone through and to see that she has continued that fight for others outside of herself is just amazing and is just so heartwarming that I'm just happy and very privileged to be near a person like her. Um, everybody, thank you so much for being here. We really hope that you enjoy the night. Mariana, thank you for inviting us all here and being a part of your world and a part of your energy and a part of your love. We send so much also to your dad who is being honored tonight, Terry. We send so much to the Polka family back in Scotland. Your mom's gonna get on me for the accent, but I'm gonna use it. Thank you, Mariana, for everything that you do. HDSA, everything that you do. Have a great night, everybody. Hi, my name is Gil Rankin. I get the pleasure of being a friend, colleague, and great admirer of the wonderful Mariana Polka, who's been such a deep, brave advocate for the HDSA. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for supporting the sixth annual Freeze HD benefiting the Huntington's Disease Society of America. And I just feel really lucky to get to know Mariana and to get to work with her alongside her and to watch everything that she does, both as a director, as a producer, as an actress, and as a social activist and just as a human being. I am really excited to be able to donate a pair of pink Original Glow Reebok sneakers, size US 7, um, that have been unworn, but um, were something that I was very lucky to get to receive from working on our show, and I would love to be able to donate them, and you can start bidding for them at www.hdsa.org slash freeze hd <laughs> and thank you so much again there's so much incredible work going on for all of the hd community and we just want to keep continuing that happening and just sending all the love to everyone out there who's fighting a good fight and I feel really lucky to get to talk about Mariana and her bravery and strength and support of this society. So thank you so much and donate what you can. Bye. Hello everybody, I'm Shakira Barrera from GLOW and I support Mariana Palka and the HDSA Foundation in everything that they do. And I hope that you guys will too. Hi, I'm Kimmy. And I'm Rebecca. You may know us as the Big Damn Bitties. <laughs> We're here to support our glow sister, the magical Mariana Polka. To show our support, we're donating a personalized Beat Down Bitties hype video. Mm -hmm. And you can bid on it right now. Let's help Mariana beat down Huntington's. Yeah! <laughs> I see you. you. Or we'll bitty you. You can't run. What is up? Uh, first of all, I, I told everybody we are going to go on a bit of a journey tonight. Um, Jason and Mariana and all of the cast members of GLOW that showed up for her tonight, I want to say thank you so much. Um, and again, we are here to honor uh, the life and spirit of Terry. And, um, and we're here really to, to honor everybody out there that is, is fighting this thing. And I want to personally say thank you to Jason and Mariana for every single year. Uh, Freeze doesn't exist without you. We don't do what we do every single year without you. And we don't do that without Terry. So I wanted to say that. Now, um, 
You heard a lot of uh, auction items in that block as well. Uh, Jason Ritter uh, was in Frozen 2, a little movie you might have heard of. Uh, he brought in a ton of Frozen signed stuff, uh, posters and this really cute backpack that Kristen Bell signed. Uh, you heard Gail Rankin talking about her shoes. They're right here. Uh, my wife is bidding on those currently, even though they don't even fit her, but they're very cute. So if you want to bid on any of this stuff, uh, there's a little button right below the screen. It says online auction. You just click that. Or if you uh, need to find it on the web, you can go to hdsa.org slash bid. We made it really, really easy there. Now, uh, we're not only going to have uh, music that is sent in from all over this world from very talented people. We're going we're gonna to do some music live in the room, too. Uh, this gentleman, Brian Logan Dales, and our buddy Matt Beckley, they uh, were on stage last year at the Avalon uh, when we had our fifth annual Freeze HD, a night in which we raised $420,000 in one night. And these guys were such a big part of it. And they called me and they said they wanted to be a part of it again. And uh, I said, sure, you want to come do a couple songs? Let's do it. Um, I've heard... Uh, for years from my mother, a quote, um, you can tell the true value of a human being by how hard their friends will fight for them. And if that is true, then uh, Mariana Palka, as we all know, is made of pure gold. And uh, her and the Glow Girls and Jason, nobody uh, will back down from this disease, and we won't either. So let's do it. Sing along, y'all. <laughs> Stand me up at the gates of hell, but I won't back down. I'm gonna stand my ground, won't be turned around. In a world that keeps on dragging me down, gonna stand my ground, and I won't back down. I won't back down. ground and I won't back down well I know what's right and I got just one life in a world that keeps on pushing me around but I won't back down I'm gonna stand my ground cheering from the living rooms across this country uh, and all over the world. Uh, guys, thank you so much. Um, you know, just coming along last year and getting involved and, and now you're sticking with us. And it seems like that happens every single year. Um, people come along, they, they hear about what we're doing here, they hear our stories and they stick around and they help us fight. And it's incredible. Um, 
We're going to have expected guests tonight and unexpected guests. Um, in the expected guest category coming up in one of the next two videos is Bryce Dallas Howard, um, just an ally of Huntington's and Mariana's ever since this event has started. She's been on the host committee every year that I have, and we can't wait to hear from her, all the way from the set of Jurassic World Dominion. And uh, in the unexpected category, we have Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman is here, people. I'm freaking out. Uh, he has... Uh, a Coraline book that he's going to sign and doodle for you. I'll let him tell you about it. From a field of sheep, here comes Neil Gaiman. Hello, my name is Neil Gaiman. Thank you so much for supporting the sixth annual Freeze HD benefiting the Huntington's Disease Society of America. And I'm here to support Mariana Polka. Mariana is amazing. Her personal journey into Huntington's taught me so much about resilience, what it means to be human, what it means to face the future. To show my support, I'm donating this exclusive leather-bound edition of Coraline to the Sixth Freeze auction online. And you can bid on this book right now at www.hdsa.org slash freezehd. And I will personalize it and do a doodle in it for whoever wins the auction. So I will personalize it for you. And thank you again for your support to HD Families. Hi. My name is Bryce Dallas Howard, and I am incredibly honored to join the sixth annual Freeze HD event in support of one of the best women on the planet, uh, Mariana Polka. So Mariana uh, is, I mean, truly one of the most beautiful human beings I've ever encountered in my life. She's a genius. She's a visionary. She's incredibly kind, um, a writer, director, producer, activist, actor. She does it all. Um, and throughout our, our friendship, which is stretching on 20 years now, um, I became aware that, that, uh, that her father, Terry, had Huntington's disease. And um, what that meant was that she had a 50% chance of inheriting the gene herself. And ultimately I was, I was with Mariana when she tested positive for HD. Um, and um, that, that moment um, was, was, was captured and filmed in her powerful documentary, The Lion's Mouth Opens. Um, since that day, for myself and so many, so many people who love Mariana so much, um, we we have continued to just do do what we can to support the Huntington's Disease Society of America. Um, right now, I'm in the UK and I'm filming Jurassic World Dominion, which is going to be the third Jurassic World movie, and um, I can't wait for y'all to check it out. I can't wait, you know, for like theaters to be open and all of that again. And um, I'm very grateful to have a job. And so uh, in keeping with the theme of Jurassic for this year's freeze, um, we have two special edition, no longer available to the public, Jurassic World posters that are really beautiful um, and a Jurassic World soundtrack on vinyl. And I've signed them and so has Chris Pratt. So please, 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 if you can, please bid on these exclusive, one-of-a-kind, never-to-be-seen-before items. Um, please bid on these auction items now at hdsa.org slash freezehd. Thank you so much.